All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. If you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck, it's Crucible with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today I am here on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley. As you can see, we have some beautiful mountains on the back side here in the horizon. We're located here in the mass plan community of Summerlin. That is correct, Summerlin. So this is a, a new development. They just broke ground probably about a month ago. And uh, this is uh, Carmel Cliffs. And we're gonna be touring this beautiful model today. Sasina, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know um, if I pronounce it correct or not. Now, this home right here, you do have three different floor plans to pick from I'm sorry three different elevations to pick from now keep in mind the elevation that you see here today you may not be able to get this elevation because it really depends on which lot you pick but there's multiple color schemes what I like about this builder Pulte is that uh, when you go to the design studio there's so many options that you can pick and choose from okay so you can see we have a beautiful nice courtyard swing this camera around right here you do have an option to add a gate right here. I definitely would add a high iron gate with the uh, doorbell to be pre-wired right here and also pre-wired for a camera. Now, the uh, stuck on here is sprayed pretty heavily here. Also, with this builder, you do have the option to do the almond color um, window and also the bright white too as well. Now, this home right here, the asking price, the starting price, 900 thousand eight hundred eighty dollars that is correct now the lot premiums are going to be a little bit pricey okay lot premiums will range you about a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand just depends right well wow, take a look at that strip view that thing is gorgeous now this model right here is like one of their popular models now with Pulte what you're going to notice is that Pulte builds across um, Vegas and their models are pretty much all over the place as far as like the same type of models. So you can buy this model for a lot cheaper in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley. Let's start back on this side right here. Now this one right here is 2,851 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, three car garage. You do have some options and configurations that you can do. Okay, so right here, this is what we call the uh, flex room. So typically you won't get this glass right here. In this flex room right here, is it 12 by 12? So it's a pretty decent size. And also the cabinets here and the wallpaper and all these build outs, it would just be straight drywall. But you have an option to do all this. Not bad, I love this half inch glass on here. Really nice on this flex. You have luxury vinyl on the flooring here. Beautiful future wall. This would all just be stucco. I'm sorry, not stucco, but um, what do you call it? orange peel texture. You do have some options here with this builder. You can go orange peel, skip draw, or you can do that Santa Fe. So right down here we have the bedroom and also the master bedroom too as well. Let's take a look at the master here. We'll start off the master going down this hallway here. So as you can see, we have a three inch casings around the door. The owner suite, okay. This one is 13 by 14, it looks like. So it's not bad. Standard ceiling heights does come with 10 foot ceilings. Minus all the built out in the flooring. You're gonna have tile in the wet areas. It's gonna be 18 by 18 on here. Really nice. Uh, your baseboards, standard baseboards are going to be 5 inches on the, the baseboards. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. So in this one you got 12 by 12, I'm sorry, 12 by 24 on the tile here. You do have some option configurations that you can do. You can actually do a square tub here if you wanted to. You got two sinks. You got the quartz. These are MDFs or MCs, dovetails. 
And I love this option on the zero threshold here inside the shower. Decent sized bench. Swing this thing around. You got the rainfall shower. Straight edge cornering. Off to the right here, as you can see, we have the water closet. Coming into the closet here, these are the standard shelves versus the shelves that just go all the way across. It's just these little touches. As far as you add for standard, obviously I would do a built out for a home like this. Because by the time you're done, you're probably going to be into this home for about 1.3 million. And that's not with all the upgrades either. All right, let's go down this way. Let's see what we have. Come down the hall here. Oh, I love this uh, stone. This is really nice. Looks like we have a second thermostat here. We got eight foot doors. Okay. Definitely a lot of storage here. So here's a office. Uh, you have an option to make this a bedroom if you wanted to. Okay. This would be considered as a den. Now this den is 11 by 10. Nice crown, wallpaper, a lot of light options and fixtures. And I do love this window right here. Really nice window. All right, let's come back down this way. Off to the left, we have the two car garage, but that's being utilized as a office for the subcontractors. Definitely love this herringbone. Again, you'll have the 18 by 18 porcelain tile. The cabinets above here, you're not gonna get the cabinets here. Now you do have the option to do the sink here as well, which is really nice. You got your front load. Okay. Let's see what they got for 40, 36 inches on the smart panel box. That's cool. At least they got the Smurf tube right to the DMARC, which allows you to bring in your fiber optics. So you do have your coax cable on this home. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at different rooms, which is a plus. Uh, let's take a look here. We do have some Cat 6 for a bunch of the rooms here. And then we have our low voltage. So this is for motion sensor. So these are all uh, connected for your security system, which is really nice. So that just shows you the level of uh, upgrades and options that you can do. All right, what else do we got here? We need to look in here. So here's your coat closet right off of your um, two car garage. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down at this way here because that was, we had the what, the flex room, the den, and also the master here. Now, coming down this way, all right, you have a couple options here. We have one bedroom here, so we'll start off with this one first. Wow, I like this bedroom here. Not bad. They turned the uh, bed sideways on here to give more room. Oh, that's creative. However, you never sleep that way anyway, unless you're very short. So on this one has four traverse lights, which is, I like the uh, traverse LED lights. However, you can't change out the bulb, you gotta change out the whole system, which it's pretty easy to change out, it's not as hard. You got your walk-in closet. Now this room's 12 by 12. Now let's go into the bathroom here. So the bathroom, you do have options on any type of tile you want to choose. You have a 36 inch cabinet, quartz countertop. You have the stainless steel, you have the Moen fixtures. Now, keep in mind with the Moen product, right? Especially if you're gonna change out your cartridge later on to a Moen product and Moen, uh, they're a company that they're pretty much like worldwide, so they're very universal. Where if I didn't like this and I got the standard, I can actually change this out for an upgrade. 
Now, if you went with the Delta or a different brand and they put in Moen and you want to go ahead and change this out, you won't be able to change it out. Now you're going to be limited to the uh, Delta. So uh, what's great about uh, Moen is that they just have more options. So on this one, it looks like you have a fiberglass tub and it looks like they subway tiled this all the way to the top. And then you have your um, toilet right here, your Gerber. Now typically what you're gonna have right here is just well, like one, one mirror. We do have a second thermostat here, so this home probably has two condensers. Okay. Now coming into this room, you do have an option to do a third and fourth bedroom. However, on this configuration, they made this into a casita or mother-in-law suite or a next gen, whatever you want to call it. However, the only thing that sucks with this one is you don't have the option to put a door here, but there's a door here, but I would like to have a door on the courtyard. So that's something that I would probably do after the fact. Okay. You got your kitchenette right here which is really nice. So you got your refrigerator, got your sink. Now this thing's a little bit large for this little kitchenette here. And I would actually add a convection microwave. This is just a standard microwave, which is really nice. Okay. Now remember, this would have been the uh, third and fourth bedroom. Wow, look at how small the shower is, and you have a zero threshold. This is kind of cool. Look at that. Nice bench. Then you have your closet. Your walk-in closet. There you go. So it looks like in here they have surround sound. So this this one is going to be a pretty premium for this model here. Now let's go out to the uh, the kitchen area. All right, the main living. Let's see what this thing looks like. So you do have the option to do the uh, installation in the interior of the walls too as well. So in this one right here, you have this nice little um, island here with the LED lights, that's not included. This whole future wall is not included. So if we look at the kitchen, you have this peninsula that's coming off with the waterfall. That right there is a upgrade. And also you have this reverse tray ceiling with the LED light, that's also an upgrade too as well. But as you can see, we do have a two inch on the quartz with the waterfall. Uh, you have a nice skin on the side too as well on this one. So we have a white cabinet with a cast iron farmer sink here, KitchenAid appliances. You do have the option on your appliance package too as well here. You do have the uh, brush nickel, as you can see, it was actually pre-wired for the lights and the beautiful LED lights. And it's been uh, cladded with, looks like luxury laminate flooring. Uh, the cabinet standard, you got the 42 upper maple cabinets that is standard on this build. A couple things here. The backsplash is only going to be, I believe, 5 inches on the backsplash. The countertop is going to be uh, granite. You have a 48 inch uh, cook countertop here. You do have some options. Now with this pot filler, okay, uh, pre-construction on this one right here, you would have to order this during you go into the contract your um, structural options, you, so you would have to add that in there. Now, with that right there, understand, this is not hooked up to your soft water, okay? Or your purification system. The only thing that's hooked up to your RO water, I'm sorry, your, yeah, your RO water would be from here to the refrigerator, that is right. So if you have your drinking water in your refrigerator, you'd hook that up, but you wouldn't have it there, okay? But you do have some beautiful double stack cabinets with the crown, which is really nice. LED lights, again, that is a upgrade. Let's see what kind of LED lights that they use. These ones look flat. Oh, well, they're pretty small, which is not bad. Because at first I thought you could see it, but you, you can't. That's cool. 
Now, these are not built in refrigerators, okay? Now let's take a look at this living room here. So, again, this living room right here, this little island on this um, wall right here, that's not included. But I do love the LED lights above there. Look at that. Definitely gives that modern look, okay? Now this great room right here is about 14 by 19, so it is a pretty decent size on the great room. Let's take a look at this uh, cafe right here. Now on the cafe, you're gonna notice the cafe is a pretty decent size, not bad, 12 by 11. Love the, uh, the windows here as well. Then you do have the traverse LED lights. Now typically what would happen here is this is a structural item that you would have to pick which you have a nine foot sliding door on this side and this side. So what do you get? You only get a sliding door on one side and windows on the other side. So I would definitely uh, do this. This is something that you need to do. I'm gonna open this up. These are aluminum slides. I'm sorry, vinyl slides. They're not pocket doors, okay? They're not your top brand. Now these are dual pane windows with the tint, with the low E tint on here. But let me give you a better perspective of what this thing looks like. I'm gonna walk back over here. While I walk back here, let's take a look now. There you go. One thing we didn't check out was actually the pantry. Now if you guys want to do the cabinets inside the pantry, the laundry room, the garage or your master closet I want you guys to check out my girl Pat with Closets of Las Vegas okay wow take a look how gorgeous this is you will get this covered patio I believe but however you're not gonna get the tile here it would just be concrete also with the fireplace too as well okay but take a look at this strip view folks isn't this thing gorgeous I've noticed the average lot size here is roughly about 8,000 square feet. Wow, I mean, it just, isn't this thing gorgeous? Look at that. Hopefully nobody builds a two-story above here. That'd suck, that would suck, right? All right, so we got a synthetic grass putting green. This is your irrigation system, your control. You can have multiple controls. I don't feel like walking down there, so we're not gonna go down that way. Now this is not a real putting green, and you can just tell based upon the slope on here. This is just more for looks than anything. Wow, they need to redo that trim right there. So it looks like we only got one condenser. There's got to be more than one condenser. Hmm. We've seen three, three different thermostats, so that tells me that there's three different zones. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was the HOAs here. It's not bad, which is... $70 a month, okay, 48 for Summerlin, okay, lot premiums, 100000 200000 if I want to pay that kind of money, I better get this lot view right here, the strip view, that's for sure, but like I said, by the time you're done with this home, it's going to be a $1.3 million home. Let me know in the comments below if you can see yourselves living here, what your thoughts are about this property. If you have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, not too sure what you guys are waiting for. Also, don't forget to check out LV Home Experts Radio Show every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is where we talk about real estate and financing. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.